Hello and welcome to Buckman's Model Mania. Today we're going to be doing the finale for the AEC B-Type bus from Oak Ridge Models. And here you can see it's sitting on a turntable. I'm going to be able to show all sides of it. You can see that it from top down looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and do a front shot. And you can see here that I've got wires running through it. I am going to turn on the lights, but before I turn off on the lights, I want to show something because I had a small issue. I finished it up yesterday afternoon. Everything was great. Took pictures of it. The lights were all worked. As a matter of fact, I posted this on Facebook and have gotten numerous really nice replies about it. But here's the problem. Last night on the uh, HTM stream, I, put, I plugged it in, powered it up. I was going to do some bragging about it. And I said, yeah, I pointed out that I had an issue with this headlight when I was doing the final wiring. This headlight has a different resistor than this headlight because it wouldn't light. For some reason, it wasn't coming on with the uh, power split between the two lights. So I changed, I did a uh, slightly less, or a resistor with less resistance which should have been okay. I left it running overnight and it was great. Everything worked right up until I touched the light. I touched the light yesterday on this stream and it went out. I am not going to drill this out. There's acrylic in here. There's uh, UV, not acrylic, there's UV resin in here. The LED that's wrapped up, it goes down inside here, goes under the car. I could fix it, but it would be a lot of effort and the car is not gonna be on very often. And I, you know, in my opinion, it's just, it's an older vehicle. It's got a burnout headlight. So let me go ahead and rotate it to the side here. And you can see, not only do the headlights work, but I've also got the interior light here for the uh, driver's area. There's a light in here. There was one in here. It died. <laughs> It died as soon as I got the flooring done and couldn't do anything. Actually, it was, wasn't when I got the flooring done. When I glued the top on, that's when the wire or something, the LED, went dead. It's probably these cheap LED uh, SMDs I'm using. Could be. Not a big deal. It's run for probably 24 hours or more, so the LEDs that are still in there and still working will probably work just about forever. And since the last time I did an update on this, let me move the wires so I can actually rotate it. I finished the, believe I, I don't believe I had the stairs done. I've done some work here. I saw somebody did the, uh, who was building it, who reinforced here and here. Not going to have the problem that I did. I, don't, I can see it. Don't think the camera is picking it up. That This area here is still cracked. You know, it came out relatively well. What And what I did to fix the light that went out inside is I added one back here using a different lens. Stairs to the top. Stairs are great. <laughs> the interior, great. This railing sucks. I, I did my best. I got frustrated. I finally, you know, decided, okay, I'm just going to put it together, get it as best I can, and go from there. But also... I had problems with were these placards here. They kept popping loose. I eventually had to strip the uh, paint off of both sides of the uh, metal strip that holds them on in the back there and then use a different type of glue than I usually use. I usually use a CA. I did use something called B7000. It's, a, it's almost like a um, RTV instead of a glue, but it dries. And I shouldn't touch these, they'll pop off. <laughs> but they're on here, they're not coming off, I don't think. So let me go ahead and swing back. Matter of fact, let me just go ahead and turn off the lights so I can dis disconnect these wires. Let's see if I can point out some of the stuff that I've done. So I did this railing here. This, on the uh, in the instructions, they have you paint it black. I like it that way better. A lot of things I did my own way instead of doing, here, let me use a, let 
going to use a Q-tip instead of a knife to point it. But I, I did a uh, lot of things my own way. This is supposed to be all painted black. I like it the, where it looks like wood because it is wood. You got the step here getting you up into the cab here. Again, this is supposed to be painted black. That front bumper is the best way to put it. I like it brass. Step over here. I did paint the handbrake. I think that's just the handbrake. I don't know. I don't think it's a shifter at all. But I did paint that the way they said. And overall, I think the kit came out pretty well. It's kind of interesting. The discoloration here, you can see actually from the camera where I put second coats on. Uh, you can see a little bit here too, but... Oh, okay, it's not discoloration, it's different paint. I'm, I'm seeing it in the camera. I'm looking in the camera and this down here that is different color than this, it's because it's wood and I used a different type of paint. But it's done. I think it looks good. It's going to go on the shelf. There are a few... I had a few issues with it. Nothing insurmountable. It's a good-looking kit when it's done. Oh, yeah. forgot to point out the little mirror there. It says to paint it silver on the back. I'm like, why? It's steel already right there. There, there are some issues with the kit. I think the issues are more me than the kit. The kit is a really good kit. And I used a... Uh, I had two of these kits. I used the one that has the stickers rather than the... Um, than the paper that you cut out and glue. From what I've seen, Okri is starting to move on to the sticker type rather than the um, rather than the paper, cut out the paper and glue it down. I like it, but I, I'm not sure I like it that much because you can see the Oakley's over here is reflecting. But overall, it was a good little kit. It was a good break from doing the chaperone, you know, just a few things here and there. I'm not the best modeler. I'm, I say I'm fair to middling, but you know, I, when I build it, I like it when it's done and I finish, when I finish it, I don't finish it until I'm satisfied with the way it looks. I hope you guys like it. I've gotten positive reaction from a lot of anywhere I've posted it, but it's a, it's now done, and so we will be moving on, or back on, to the 18th century longboat. I've actually had requests for people from people to see more videos on that. I need to finish it, then I'll get back on the chaperone, and probably after the chaperone is done, we'll go back to the Pearl. So, uh, lost my train of thought there. So, uh, like and subscribe if you like this content, and click the arrow or the arrow, the bell icon to be notified of any time I post new videos, such as this, such as the VW, uh, my part works, the alien. Um, what was it? Click the bell icon. Ah, uh, yes. Come on over to Hobby Time Modelers on Facebook, YouTube, and Discord. Like I said, I finished. Whoops. I finished this up and showed it off last night on our Friday night live stream. We'll have another live stream on Sunday afternoon. People, everybody is welcome to join. You just have to click the link that's going to be in the description here to get to our Discord. In our Discord, we will post a link to, to StreamYards to actually be able to join in with a camera, with just a microphone, either way, or join us on Facebook and just type into the chat. With that, I will say have a great day. Have a great day tomorrow. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And I will see you on the next video.